guys, this is Dormouse03. Welcome back to my Prey 100% walkthrough. This is episode three, and we are in the hardware labs, and I'm just showing you guys my stats from the last video. We just entered the hardware labs, and so at this point, you should have these stats if you're playing along with me. So we have eaten and drank. 19 types of food and drink. You should have at least 12 of those. Some of the things are random and so you may have more than 19. You may have fewer than 19. I think on my practice run I had 20. So probably around that number of items, but 12 guaranteed. You should have found 28 Transtar crew and visitors. You should have read 37 emails and listened to seven transcribed messages. You also will have listened to one of Morgan's messages that he or she left for him or herself and found two of our black market drops. And so here we go into the hardware labs. So this is introducing you to the sneak mechanics, and we're going to sneak up on this. And then we're going to back away from it, because that does hurt you when it blows up. Oh. And those things are usually selling, uh, Q cell, selling? <laughs> They're usually carrying Q cell ammunition. So. That is helpful for the future. So the other operator went around there, so we'll have to be wary for him. But we're going to come around here, and we are going to do a few things. So there should be two emails on Hope Ellis's computer. You're my only hope, and demo delay. So those are emails 38 through 39. You can also turn right around here and find Ms. Hope Ellis, who will be crew member number 29. Go ahead and pick up stuff off of her body. There's a wrench there. I'm not going to pick that up right this moment because the weapons, the extra weapons, take up a lot of inventory space. So I usually come back during my you know, final sweep of the area to grab things like that. So there's also these flowers and stuff. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna bother with those right now. So we can't get into this office yet, but we will. There should also be a few things to pick up over here. A lot of cold mountain green tea in this area. Okay, so we're going to crouch again. We're going to try to get the drop on this second operator. Yes, I know. Okay. So we got that thing. And so now we're going to head into this security station and make sure that's not a mimic. So there's a silenced pistol ammo fabrication plan, so that's helpful. There's also, on a lot of these consoles, these security station consoles, you can download an area map, which is just helpful. We did it before on the one in the trauma center, and this one is the same. It just kind of gives you a layout and an idea of where you've been and haven't been, which is cool. We can also unlock the security locker, which is to our left. And you can look up any crew here, but we're going to show you all the ones in this area. But in case you miss one and want to know where they are or 
you know, just want to go exploring on your own, that's available. So here's another weapon upgrade kit. Remember, we're keeping these because we're going to need to upgrade some weapons later on. I'm going to take the ammo from this and leave the pistol where it's at. And so, a reason why we opened the security locker number one, there's the spare parts. But number two, there's this turret. Ah, you butt face. I thought you had gone a little bit farther than that, but that's okay. Here. I didn't want to bother with deploying this because he was going to get around behind it. There might be another one in here. So we're going to go down here. And we're going to grab some more bodies. So if you climb up on this and then use this, and you might need to make a platform with your glue gun, but you don't have to do that. Making that might be a, a little bit easier for you, but you don't have to. So you want to get up on these rafters, and there will be Gregory Kettner, and ignore all the craziness that's going, down, going on down there. That's Phantom Clive Lawrence killing... A person you don't need to worry about stopping that so Gregory Kettner right here crew number 30 he has a neuromod on him and we're gonna hop down and then crew member 31 will be Sean Larson right here in the middle of the auditorium Sean also has the employee entrance key card on him and some old Sarter bourbon, which, if you haven't found, we have found that. But if you haven't found that thus far, then that will be another piece of food or drink. Okay. Sometimes there's stuff underneath. I'm not going to worry about that. And so there's a bunch of alcohol around here. We're going to drop down here. We're going to open this maintenance access panel. And we're going to use our glue gun. To rid ourselves of this fire. Alrighty, so crew member number 32 is Randall Wood right here. And this will put you into this next area right here. And so there's going to be a couple of phantoms in here. So just beware of that. I'm going to go ahead and use some of these healing items. Again, I've, I've used all of these before. And so these won't or shouldn't be anything new. I think I've said this before, but if I haven't, sometimes your food counter, your food and drink counter will go up by one in, kind of inexplicably. And I don't know, it's, it's weird. So even if you're eating something that you've already eaten before, it'll still count for some reason. So I'm not sure what's up with that. Special parts requests, prototypes. 
We should be able to fix your looking glass terminal from Dr. Calvino's workshop. Okay, so that is phantom number one. Oftentimes, these corpses will have things like weapon upgrade kits and suit repair kits and spare parts and things like that on them, so make note of that. So I believe that there is another phantom in this area. Yes. That's the other phantom. Here's a mimic. There's the flashlight so that I can actually see what I'm doing. And there we go. Okay. So, backtracking here because we want to make sure we show you the. <laughs> Make sure we show you guys these things in order. So, next body on the list is Conrad Birchman, right here in the atrium. And then there will be a hallway that goes off of the atrium. And we're going to need to use our glue gun right here, so here we glue up that pipe and we come to the corpse of Amy Schmidt and so she will have the ballistics lab key card and a recycler charge on her and that will get you into the ballistics lab right here The ballistics lab computer should have two emails on it. So these are emails number 40 and 41. Unknown material and recycler charge fab plan. And so another thing that you can do in here, and this will be showing you guys uh, ways, just ways to get to some things that might otherwise be hard to get to unless you have purchased upgrades. But since we're not purchasing upgrades, a lot of ways to get to stuff that's like behind grates and crates and things like that is to toss a recycler charge near it. So I always quick save before I do this because sometimes they don't work exactly like you want them to and you might need to try it again. But uh, we're gonna take our recycler charge we're going to toss it into that corner. That should give us a good bit of recycled material and remove that grate there so you can get the code to the ballistic safe. This time it is 3196. This is going to be a randomly generated code, so unfortunately you can't just memorize that. You'll need to you'll need to look at the note in order to know what the code is. And then you can come over here and type it in. And so that should have a good little cache of materials in there that will help you when you are trying to upgrade some stuff. There's a lot of materials in here as well. So just make sure that you loot all this stuff. Another recycler charge in that crate.
And so you don't want to open this door just yet. This is going to kind of, it demonstrates to you how to use a recycler charge. So you can come up here to this computer and put release recycler charge and it'll show you how to, how to do that on these mimics and give you some materials and then you can open the chamber. There's going to be a couple more recycler charges on the table there so just pick those up because we will want them for later. And then we can go in here and grab the materials from killing those mimics. So that is that. Next thing we're going to do is head upstairs. And check out Mio Miyu Okabe. This will be crew member number 35. And she will also have transcribe number 8. So we're going to make sure to listen to that. Hello? Hey, it's Langley. Are you a... Is there anything weird going on over there? No, like what? I don't want you to panic. What is going on, Langley? Not sure yet. Security is running all over the place. So, everyone's still working there? I guess. I don't know. I've been in the lab all day. Hang on. I'm looking now. I don't... Okay. What was that? Oh my god, I think we just lost two labs. What? I have to go. So you can request a medical operator here. They can be really useful in this area for helping you to conserve resources and save things like med kits. So, you talk to them and they'll just fully heal you every time, which is awesome. There's also the med kit fabrication plan right here, which is useful. So, next thing that we want to do is come over here and we want to hit, here is our third black market drop location. And so it's going to be number three. And so I don't think you can hit it from here. But if you climb up on this statue here, sometimes it just does not like to stay on. But if you get up here, you can't quite reach it, can you? So we'll make some, some glue platforms. Okay, so there's a Neuromod in there, and then we are going to head on nice to see you. over to this room where we killed the other Phantom and Mimic. There's going to be a note here on the floor that's going to give you the password to this computer for the group small-scale testing computer. There's going to be three emails on this one, so these will be emails 42 through 44. You win if you need supplies, which also gives us the key code to the machine shop supply closet, which is awesome, and glue test results. If you come over here, there's a glue snowman guy, which is awesome but you can smash him, and then be, you can pick up some of these, oh no, you can pick up some of the items that it drops. So, we don't have a ton of room in our inventory right now, but keep that in mind. I'll go pick that stuff back up at the end where I'm cleaning things up that I'm not going to be doing on recording. So, the next thing that we want to do is head over to Thaddeus York's computer over here. There should be three more emails. So emails 45 through 47, eyes and ears. Did you lose this? And you're in charge with the key code to director Thorstein's office, which is great. 
got some materials and stuff to pick up. Then we're going to head around here, find Titus Cromwell, who is crewmate number 36. Come around here to the kitchen and see if there are any more items that you have not yet acquired. So you may not have gotten this Siskak Unagi rolls, I believe. That we have eaten one of those already. Let's check it out. So it's telling me I've I have 20 types of food or drink consumed so it's possible that one was new. It's also possible that that's just another one of those random times that the counter goes up. So unfortunately <laughs> it's difficult to keep an accurate count on that. You just really need to keep a spreadsheet of the things that you have and haven't eaten. Another weapon upgrade kit here. You'll find Nikki Tanner, crewmate number 37, right here on the ground. And we cannot pick up that suit repair kit, but we can use it. And then there's going to be some more random items in the this break room closet. So we have Spiralite cookies. Go ahead and eat those. Sunburst banana, crispy frites, Big Bang candy, Sky King Pomegranate. Sunburst Banana Pudding, Duck Beer, Captain's Freeze Fish Sticks. So we'll eat that too. Some more of these things. And that is it. For there. So there may be a couple more things that you haven't eaten yet. We now have 22 types of food and drink consumed. I believe it was the fish sticks and the cookies we had not eaten. So there you go. There's that. And we're going to head on over here to Jorgen Thorstein's office. And so you should have the code off of the computer over there. This time it's going to be 3368. And so in his office you will find Jorgen Thorstein in phantom form. Ran out of stamina there. He'll have the key card to his cabin. I think that's the director of the lab. Hmm. I have the sense he admired you. Unfortunate. So, we also have an email here. Two emails. Emails 48 through 49. My new reployer and part requisition. Oh, and Jorgen Thorstein counts as crewmate number 38. So when you kill him and interact with him, that will have counted for him. And then we have an interesting safe code up here. There should be two Neuromods in this briefcase. I've, I've, I've always seen those there, so that might be a guaranteed drop. The Neuromods actually seem like they're, they're in the same areas pretty much every time. So this is an interesting code. This one is always the same and tells you that it's ES plus, or ES and XE. Those are elements on the periodic table. So ES is going to be number 99 right here. 
and XC is Xenon, which is 54. So your code's always going to be 9954. No, not 9955. Stupid stick. <laughs> okay. So that gives you access to his safe, which is pretty cool. The next, so there's there's also some stuff down here. I'll just show it to you. There's a mimic as well. So yay for mimic. I think he went into the lab. He'll probably come up behind us later. But uh, down here, there's going to be a wrench and some spare parts and just some more stuff. No, we're not going to take the wrench right now. And then you can unlock the door, and this is back out at the starting room. Okay. So, now we are going to head down here. I'm going to go ahead and drink some cold mountain green tea. And in this briefcase you should have some more materials and another neuromod. And again, I believe that's always a guarantee. If we climb up this glue, we will find Thaddeus York who is crewmate number 39, he will have on his person transcribe number 9. So we're going to listen to that right quick. Dr. Thorstein, where are you? Machine shop. I was just... I, I heard an explosion. Forget that. Grab whatever you can and get to my office. We're evacuating. What? What should I... Neuromods, exotic material. Just hurry. Meet me in my office. Yes, sir. And bring a glue gun. Okay, and so we're going to head downstairs, and we're going to be finding another phantom down here. This is going to be Clive Lawrence. So Clive Lawrence is crewmate number 40. And there's a bunch of stuff down here. So at this point, you can pick up all the stuff that is available, pop it into the recycler, and give it a recycle. In this room, you'll find a chipset, which is pretty cool see which one this is. Ah, wrench swings have a greater chance to knock back an opponent. So I'm going to go ahead and put that on. Like I said, some of these are more or less useful and it just depends on your play style and all that good stuff. But knocking down phantoms with our wrench right now is good. Be careful walking through here because if you walk around that corner, sometimes walking over those explosive canisters will set them off. And so, you don't really want that. Pick up these flexi foam bolts. There's a Huntress bolt caster. Since we've already picked up a Huntress bolt caster, there's no need to have another one. And we don't really need one for this area, so I'm going to go ahead and recycle that along with 
this bourbon and wherever that duck beer went right there because the alcohol just doesn't restore enough health for it to be worth your time, in my opinion. So there you go. We're going to recycle all that stuff. And for the sake of not taking forever and a day, just forever, not forever and a day, on this... <laughs> video I'm not gonna go around and grab everything because you could pick up like that glue gun and stuff and everything in the areas that you've been through and go in there and recycle it but I will I will do that at the end after I've been through all this all of this area and have shut off the recording so that you guys don't have to watch that tedium so next thing that we are going to do is head in here and so this will turn off the power if you want to repair this electric junction you can do that however we don't really want to keep that off because we want all of the stuff to be on. <laughs> but just in case you're not 100% following this guide and you are using abilities and stuff, you could repair that juncture box if you if you had. The ability to do Hello. so. So, we're going to go heal. And we're going to head through this maintenance access panel. There will be a mimic in here. He is irritating. But we're going to sneaky kill him. There is another mimic at the end here. And you just want to be careful with him because you don't want to accidentally hit that other explosive canister right there. So just be careful. Be wary. And then we're going to head through this, this panel here. So we are in the machine shop. There should be a few enemies in this area. Some stuff underneath here. And some computers. So you will want to move the cargo. Because that's going to drop a body that would otherwise be irritating to get to. So yeah, there should be some mimics. There's also some operators. Other operator, where are you? Totally gonna get destroyed by a mimic. Those are the operators. 
And then we'll still have some mimics in the area, but we can go ahead and come around here and check out Clive Lawrence's computer. There should be three emails on this. The Huntress is ready, missing operator parts, and refabricator malfunction. Hello, Mr. Mimic. I was just talking about you. It'd be nice if when I swung at you, it hit you. There we go. So, kill Mr. Mimic. Hello, other Mr. Mimic. How are you doing, sir? Okay, so right here is Peter Coleman. He fell off of this cart thing up here. So sometimes he drops here, sometimes he drops in the middle over here. It just depends. So he will be crew member number 41. Then if we climb up here, there's a couple of things so we can bust through those pieces of glue right there. We climb into this middle section here and grab some materials. We can also head over here. And so on Mary Malinaro's computer. There's going to be two more emails. Emails 53 and 54. Warning, Radiation, and Assassin League. She also has the bolt caster fabrication plan and ammo for that. And now something to note is these fabrication plans, they're duplicated everywhere. So you really only need to pick up one of them, but it doesn't hurt to pick up more than one. So over here we'll find Franklin Goods' computer. There are two more emails here. Those are numbers 55 through 56, Rebolt Effectiveness, and Psychotronic Satellite. You will also find the fabrication plan for the Artax Propulsion System. And so you need this to continue on with the main game, so we want to pick that up. We want to pick up the materials that are around here and I'm going to go ahead and throw some stuff into the recycler. And then we want to create this Artax propulsion system. So it should only take one piece of mineral material and one piece of synthetic material, like one whole square of each one of those. Which you should definitely have at this point. And so then we're going to take that, and that is going to allow us to hold A to have a little bit of glide. And so you'll see that right here. That will allow us to run and jump and glide onto that thing, which I missed because I'm a donut. So we'll come back up here and try it again. Okay, so up here we will find Franklin Good, who is crew member number 42. And some EMP charges. You can also get up here. It's a mimic. There's some radiation. It's unpleasant. Okay, drop down here. Deal with this mimic. Okay, and grab some of the stuff that's in here. Weapon up. 
upgrade kit, which is great. Okay, and so now that should be everything from inside of this area. You can try to throw a recycler charge to move some of this debris out of the way. However, I think it's too big to actually get moved by the recycler charge. So I don't think that you can get in here with that. So you can give it a shot if you'd like to. I'm going to avoid using a recycler charge for that. But there's there's definitely some good stuff in there. There's a Neuromod, there's some Psy Hypos, there's some other stuff, Medkit. But there's nothing that's 100% necessary to have. So we're gonna open Every the lock. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and head out of the airlock to the Talos 1 exterior. There's going to be several things out here for us to do and people to find and, and that kind of thing. So I'm going to just make sure that our stats are matching up here. So at this point we should have 56 emails, which it looks like we have. We have 42 crew members. We have nine transcribe messages that we have listened to and we found 22 types of food and drink. Again, the food and drink one might be a little bit more or less for you depending on which random things you have found. But rest assured, you're gonna find all the food and drink stuff by the time we finish. <laughs> by the time we finish, because there's a lot of things in a couple of specific areas a little bit later on. There's a lot of stuff in those kitchens and things that we've been to already, so you should be about at 22 at this point. So, we're gonna head on out the airlock. Microgravity detected. Okay. So there's quite a few things that you can do when you're on the exterior out here. First thing that we're gonna do is head to the place where we need to go. So there should be a hull breach right here. And it'll say hull breach hardware labs. There's sometimes these operators running around. The science ones are to fill up your psychic energy. So they're not really useful at this point in the game. The engineering ones, the engineering operators, uh, rebuild your suit integrity. And the medical ones obviously refill your health. <laughs> So, that is that. There's a bunch of spare parts and just different things down here. You can push in on your th left thumbstick and that will help you move a little bit faster. And then if you want to stop yourself moving, you push both of the bumpers at the same time and that will slow you down. You want to be careful about flying too quickly into objects because that will hurt you. If you want to turn to rotate, you push the right thumbs or right bumper to rotate to the right, the left bumper to rotate to the left. Okay. 
So right here is the man that we are looking for, Lorenzo Calvino himself. He is crew member number 42, and he will also have on him his workshop key card so we can get into his workshop. A couple neuro mods and transcribes. So we'll have a transcribe from him. Understood. Uh, are you <laughs> honestly? I, I prefer if you left my experiments alone in my absence. Uh, well, look, I have a message you left me. Seriously, I would not have made all of this if you hadn't. No, no, of course. I, uh, I remember now. Uh, uh, let's just, uh, for the time being, uh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Uh, uh, let's talk about it tomorrow. Okay. So we have another transcribe uh, as well. This is, um, this is Dr. Calvino. Ah, well, I suppose you've turned in, uh, or you're ignoring me. I, I just want to... Well, I, I will be a, a little late for my shift tomorrow, but um, uh, the, the first thing in the morning, I want you to put together a new micro-lens array. You see, the, the old one is it's garbage. And uh, get what you need from the machine shop. And if Clyde is being an ass, just take it from the supply closet when he's not looking. Uh, we're not supposed to know the code, but, uh, well, uh, I'm sending it to you anyway. Okay. So there's going to be several things around here, just kind of floating around. There's several bodies and, and things, and then there are some satellites, some billboards, and some other things that are orbiting. So on one of these blue billboards, there's going to be a corpse. And it might be this one, or it might not be this one. You just want to kind of get close to it. I don't think it's on this one, because we haven't seen the emblem for a corpse pop up just yet. So yeah. This is not the billboard that we are looking for. So we're going to kind of wait for the other billboard to rotate around. You see it just coming around right there. We can actually move toward it. Also, if you push A, that will give you a little boost up. And if you push B, that'll help you descend. So that is pretty cool. It can be disorienting up here. So if you're doing this, like me, trying to find the body on this billboard, you might end up kind of disorienting yourself. I'm going to try to give you some points of reference for where to find these specific bodies and things. And so just be aware. So you see there, when we got about 200 meters out, we had the human corpse emblem pop up, and so that tells you that you are going to be able to find this next guy. So this is moving, and so it can be kind of a pain in the butt, but what we're going to try to do is move toward this guy, and then hold X. carry him away. Well, you see it keeps moving me back. <laughs> and so it can be a little bit irritating. Okay, 
So now he should be kind of separate from the satellite, which is which is cool. So we can search his corpse. Okay. He should have a chipset on him. Again, this one uh, gives us resistance to fire damage, which is very nice. And he also had a Typhon lure, which is pretty cool. Those things you can use to lure mimics and stuff to its position, which is pretty neat. And so that was Emmanuel Mendez. He's crew member number 44. I don't know if, that I mentioned this, but you should have gotten two transcribes off of Lorenzo Calvino. And so those were number 10 and 11. I know we listened to them, but I don't think I numbered them. Okay, so we're heading back here for a little bit of a point of, of reference here. We want to head to the crew quarters. And so I'm trying to find where that is. It's going to be near the Arboretum. But there is a hull breach at the crew quarters. And we're going to want to head in there to locate a couple of things. So it can be kind of a, a weird ride around here. And I'm doing these in a specific order. Obviously, you can go and look at these human corpses in any order. I'm just doing this in the order that I wrote them down for the guide so that I know where I'm going and can give you guys points of reference in case you can't seem to locate some of these people. Because it's much easier to do these in one go than it is to try to <laughs> go back and forth from inside the ship and like click on that crew member and then go out and find them and then go back inside and click on another crew member and then go back out and try to find them. It's just a lot of loading screens. And so trying to show this to you guys. So there should be a hull breach crew quarters. Be careful of these cystoids. So something that you can do for those little guys is if there's any debris floating around you can toss it and that will cause those little guys to follow it. If they're coming at you, however, you just want to get rid of them. Because they do explode and they're sort of irritating. They flit around. And there really wasn't any debris around here. Usually there's, there's debris that you can toss. So like this bench would have been great if they weren't near. So you can toss it. They should follow it and then explode. Yeah. Kind of like that. 
so Hull Breach Eh, we'll just take the hits. So you can head into these rooms. And there's just some stuff in here. Nothing uber critical. So this is going to be a chip that you can use on your psychoscope. We don't have that yet. But once we get one, we can use that. So there's a an enemy that we don't really want to mess with right there. So I'm going to sort of sneak behind it here. So we picked up some green green beetle gin right there that is a new food and drink and again I said this in a previous video but not in this one the food and drink you I'll put a list of all of that at the bottom of every video just so that you can have an idea of which ones that you need and make a little checklist for you to check off as you find them So, the, re the real reason why we came in here was to get this fabrication plan. So, it's a, the Q-beam cell fabrication plan is right here in that briefcase. I'm going to go ahead. And refill that. I'm also going to drink this green beetle gin. So this should be another piece of food and drink. So this is the null wave transmitter. That is to stop certain enemies from using their abilities. go out here, we're going to turn, and we're going to get out of this whole breach.
There we go. So near the crew quarters hull breach there should be a little pod. Some more of these fabulous things. And this may or may not be right here. It happened to be, but I think it's it's rotating around. But this little pod right here has a bunch of food and drink items in it and some other pretty good stuff some med kits and whatnot but you see the supply crate it's got a ton of stuff in there so we got a bunch of apples a bunch of cookies a pop star udon noodles this shaker lemon pie should be a new food or drink item jelly eel sunburst banana cold mountain green tea veggie blend siskak unagi rolls crispy frites random dim sum dim sum and russian blinis and so you know take take as much of that stuff as you want i'm gonna definitely eat this shaker lemon pie because i believe that is a new one for us these russian blinis you may also not have found and so they might be another good one to go ahead and eat if you haven't already all of this other stuff i'm fairly confident we have already consumed and so, there you go. Sometimes that shaker lemon pie, I remember on my practice run, the shaker lemon pie didn't count for whatever reason. So, let's check it out. We have... 24 different types of food and drink consumed, so it looks like it did. Sometimes I've had it not count there before and had to go and find it somewhere else. Uh, and I'll show you where another guaranteed spot is for the shaker lemon pie, but just beware. If it doesn't count there, then it should count the next time that you eat one. It, the food and drink thing really irritates me because it's... It's a little bit difficult to keep track of. Okay, so now that we've done those couple of things, we are going to find a couple of crew members. And so when you get close enough to their bodies, just like the um, guy before, it should say human corpse. So you want to be careful of this um, telepath. It's a little bit irritating, but this is a really good find right here. So we want this Q-beam gun. It's, a, it's an early way to get it. We also want Mariana Arias, and because she is going to be crewmate number 45. And she has transcribe number 12. So we don't want her bridge. We want her transcribe. And then we're going to listen to it. I can't 12. Open airlock. I think there's something following me. So we have this Q beam. We're going to need four slots. So we're just going to get rid of four pieces of junk here and then we're gonna grab it it's I keep hearing it it's, it doesn't make any sense it's, it's just in my head Ay, Mateo. David, I love you both. mom I'm sorry I know you were just trying to protect me I love you so much Okay, 
So our next body is going to be up here, right in front of the Transtar place. Uh, it annoys me that this, this thing is still following us. I really didn't want to have to kill it because it takes quite a bit of ammo and is fairly annoying, but we might have to just take it out. So this is going to be Mike Devlin. He should be crew member number 46. And he is going to be near the shuttle bay airlock. So we're going to we're going to we're going to move away from here to try to just lose this telepath. Because it's annoying. Okay, but you see the, the shuttle bay airlock is right there and then our corpse was right next to it. So that was where Mike Devlin was located. Now that we've lost that telepath, we're going to head back in. There should be another couple of corpses around here. So kind of near the hardware labs and the whole breach and all that stuff. There should be a few. So over here, amongst some debris, is Charisma Chuhan, will be crew member number 47. So she's kind of directly across from Dr. Calvino's workshop. And then if we continue going over here, we should come across another corpse. And you should know that you're near this one because you'll see an engineering operator. This is also near a little side quest that we'll be doing to fix up this breach right here. We can go ahead and patch that up and that will be for a side quest later on. This corpse here is Jose Costa. He is crew member number 48. And the engineering operator here should help us repair our suit. Well, we have our suit repaired because I just used some things but it would have helped prepare your suit if you hadn't done that i didn't realize that i didn't remember from five minutes ago when i did that so <laughs> he'll he'll help you repair your suit if you haven't already done so and so now we're going to be flying around the outside of here again looking for a shuttle and so this is another one of the things that orbits 
the station, kind of like those billboards. It's going to be a shuttle. Alright guys, so we have located the shuttle. It's uh, around this ring here. This ring that goes around the top of the station near the Arboretum. So like I said, it, it'll be orbiting the station. And so sometimes it's a little bit tricky to locate. Be sure you don't fly out too far because you'll see I have some radiation poisoning right there. That is the fun effect of flying out too far. I was getting a vantage and went out a little bit too far. In any case, there's a derelict shuttle here. There's also going to be a weaver near this corpse. Near this corpse near this shuttle. I'd recommend just leaving it alone and heading in. So you want to see where the door is moved off of its hinges here and should be able to move on in the cabin. So our next crewmate is Hunter Hale right here. He also has transcribed number 13 and 14, so there will be two on this one transcribed. I anyone, but I am dead in the water. Repeat, I have zero engines. I'm drifting. God damn it, Steve, answer your transcribe. All right. Shit. Investigating cabin. I have a sidearm. If all clear, I will attempt to EVA to an airlock. Okay, so we're gonna hit that again. Sid, this is Captain Hale, shuttle exalt. I'm trying to hail the bridge, getting zip. Can you confirm, please? I have some system malfunctions. It's uh, it's across the board. It's hard to make sense. I need to park ASAP. I recommend security detail when I come in. Hearing some noise in the cabin. Shit, what is going on? So, Hunter Hale was crew member number 49. There are also four volunteers in this shuttle, so crew members 50 through 53. You're going to have volunteer V071855-21. You're going to have volunteer V-110655-27. You're going to have that Starbender book, which we're going to look at in just one second. We're going to have Volunteer V-060155-05. And we're going to have Volunteer V-011155-17. So those are all four of the volunteers in there food out of here. Those are all things we've eaten before. They have the Typhon Lure Fabrication Plan and a Neuromod there in that briefcase and some other random stuff in these supply crates. And then we're going to be picking up the first of another group of collectibles here. The Starbender Cycle Book. So this is book this is part five of that crown of tumbleweed and you just want to hit X to read it. You don't actually have to, you know, read the whole thing to yourself, but you can if you want to. It's kind of interesting little just story, but it's book five. There are six parts and this is the first one that we have collected. And so now after doing this part here, we are done. We're going to move past that weaver quickly and head back to the hardware labs. So 
So once again, you don't have to do all of that stuff out there right now. You're going to be going outside at different points throughout the game. However, it's just a good time to go ahead and get all of that stuff done so that you don't have to worry about finding a bunch of bodies later on. So at this point, you should have 14 transcribes and 53 crew members that you have located. And we have the same number of emails now that we did when we came out here. Because there were none of those to pick up. So we're just going to head through this airlock back to the hardware labs and I will see you inside. a little save here so when you get back inside you're gonna have a new enemy which will count as a crew and visitor so you see we have 53 right now I'm gonna swap to my silenced pistol because that's going to be helpful here so I'm gonna kill this mimic He's annoying. So, come around here and attempt at a sneak. So the etheric phantom splits in two sometimes, which is annoying. up into a corner there but you want to wait until all of that purple stuff kind of fades away like that otherwise it will hurt you when you go near it but you will have just met crewmate number 54 <laughs> the etheric phantom right there so after that we can feel free head on to Dr. Calvino's workshop and so the way that you want to go here you don't want to go through that room that stop that. you don't want to go through the room that has the electricity so we want to get back up here and go through the the medical office again excuse me really sometimes I hate myself <laughs> now is one of those times really oh my god also, sometimes I hate my stick drift. Please tell me you can walk in a straight line. Thank you. So we're going to go back through here. It shouldn't be as difficult as I just made it look. Hello. Good to see you again, Dr. Yu. Okay. Diagnosing. Cruising. Go ahead and fill up your health and get rid of that radiation if you happen to pick that up. Hopefully you did not. But if you did, the med medical operator will take that away, which is nice. There will be some, some enemies that have respawned in here. So, we're going to take those out.
No. After you kill those couple of operators and the phantom, then you can head on into Dr. Calvino's lab or workshop. Use the key card that you acquired off of his body. And we're about to pick up an achievement. I know it's been a long time since we got one of these, but we're about to get another one, amazingly enough. So this one is called Coffee Break, and it's to open Dr. Calvino's safe. And so you want to come over here and locate his tumbler. It will be this little red thermos looking thing. Sometimes it's on top of this um, cart. Sometimes it is on the floor, but you just want to locate that, pick it up, carry it over here. And toward this little scale right here, it should automatically get sucked onto it once you get close enough and it will open up this little cache. And uh, there is your achievement, Coffee Break. Found Dr. Calvino's secret stash. There's a couple of Neuromods in here, which are great. And the key card for Lorenzo Calvino's cabin. So that is awesome. Other stuff in this room. So on his computer, on Lorenzo Calvino's computer, you will find emails 57 through 59, three emails on here, re-custom travel mug, rescale modification, and looking glass technical specs. And so that should be your final emails and collectibles and things for this area and so now we're just gonna carry on and do what we need to do to finish up this part for the story so you can turn the power back on and then what you want to do is go under diagnostics Diagno diagnose the network servers and it'll tell you which one is disconnected it'll be this one that's dash one 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 two so when you go under Network Utilities, you find that one. I think it's random which one is broken, so that's why you wanted to do the diagnostics thing. So here we go. We're going to restore the connection on that, and that will put our screens back online. Nice work, Morgan. The looking glass screens are online again. Head back to your office as soon as you can. It's important you hear the rest of your message. I'll meet you there. Okay. And so that's that. There's a bunch of like random things to pick up around here. Like I said, I'm going to do a little sweep of this area before moving on to the next part. And I'll come back and I'll recycle all of the junk that's in, in the hardware labs. However, I'm not going to waste your guys time doing that because I know that these videos these part these parts are already fairly lengthy so I don't want to lengthen that anymore so some more phantoms out here I'm going to place this turret right here, and I'm gonna, whoa, I'm gonna glue the sky, I'm gonna beat him up. I'm gonna glue this other guy, I'm gonna beat him up, I'm gonna run away from that thing that is shooting me. Turret took care of that guy for me. Okay. 
So there are just a lot of phantoms in that room. So be careful in there. The reason why I didn't put the turret somewhere more out in the open where it could shoot more things is because I didn't want it to get destroyed because I'd like for it to continue to help us throughout. So I'm going to put it right there. That'll be helpful for when you're coming back. Actually, I'm going to make sure it's a little bit straighter. That'll be helpful for you when you come back to this area later on in the game. You can use it then. And so that is, that's why I kept that intact. But that is the end of this section. You're now going to want to just head through uh, back to the Talos 1 lobby. Like I said, I'm going to do another little sweep of this area and pick up all the stuff and recycle it and get more materials and that sort of thing. And so uh, I'm not going to show you that. But let's just do a quick tally of all of the things that we have located at this point because you want to make sure that your stats are matching up with what I have here. So, we have 54 Transtar crew and visitors located, 59 emails read, 14 transcribed messages listened to, one Starbender book read, we've found three of the black market drops, and we've still only gotten one of the messages from Morgan to themselves. And I have 24 types of food and drink consumed, like I said, and keep saying, that's going to be a little off for every individual person, and you really just want to make sure that you check off all of the food and drink items on the list as you find them going through. So, that is the end of this one, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope it was helpful for you, and I will see you in the next one.